My name is Tammy White and welcome to our online class where we are going to be making pull tab cards today. Really excited about these cards and it's kind of um, kind of an addition to the interactive cards uh, that I've been creating on our classes throughout the summer. So I've had a pull tab flip card, we've done the waterfall technique which was the photo booth flip card, and we're just going to add in the penny slider card there because we're going to use some pennies today. So uh, I'm excited to, to be creating this. So we've got one more to add on there. And I'm just going to note, stay tuned to the end of this video because I am going to be sharing uh, a lot of uh, additional ideas for the stamp sets and uh, suite that we're going to be using today. So first, we are going to be using, or I'm going to be creating with the July Paper Pumpkin Kit. Now this kit coordinated with three of Stampin' Up! suites. And one of those suites was the Come Sail Away suite. What's great about this is that even though this uh, kit has sold out, the Come Sail Away, uh, the Come Sail Away suite has products in it that are virtually identical, almost identical, and we can make kind of the same exact thing with these products in the suite. And I'll show these two up close and personal. But the stamp set, designer paper, and even better, the memories and more pack are perfect. So the July paper pumpkin kit did sell out. But I have three to give away here, and all you need to do is leave a comment. So if you leave a comment here on this video, I will enter you to win one of the three. One, I'll draw live, and two, I will draw on August 20th. And the uh, August 20th ones will be all the comments left on Facebook and on YouTube. And if you share this video onto a social media platform and type the word shared into the original video as a way of saying thank you and I love you for sharing the love, I will enter you a second time into that uh, replay drawing. Okay, so I, I even though this kit has sold out, like I said, we can do, because they coordinated with sweets, we can do alternates, and you can get products if you don't have it or used all of yours and don't have any more. You can do uh, very similar things with the sweets. I love that we can add on uh, with that. And just one more note, uh, we have three more days till August 10th when uh, the deadline is to sign up for the August kit. Now that one's going to create some tags and bags for fall. But what's great about this is they're for the first time ever they're um, offering an add-on kit. So if you want to make tags and bags and cards, you can do the add-on kit. That add-on kit is available in my online store right now. You can get this right now. Um, and you do need to subscribe for the Paper Pumpkin Kit by August 10th in order to get the August kit. So you can get the add-on kit now. You can get the August Paper Pumpkin Kit up until August 10th when the deadline is for that. You don't want to miss it because every time somebody misses it, they see these alternate cards and they go, oh my gosh, I wish that I had subscribed to that one. I didn't realize how cool or cute it was. So, or how cute it was, I thought it was going to be. So... Uh, one more thing I wanted to note here is if you are collecting paper pumpkins or you're just getting started, I have downloadable um, inserts for our clear mount stamp cases on my uh, resource page. You can download them for this uh, kit and for previous kit stamp sets. So you can put them right up there along um, your your stamp shelf so they match all of your, your stamps and you can see them on the side or you can know what you got and makes it easy to, to store stuff. Now this is the kit. This is what the kit had in it. This is the stamp set that came in the kit and the supplies. I did do an unboxing video and I showed how to make the cards that came in the video. Um, you can find that on the resource page of this video simply by clicking on the link in it. As I mentioned, it did sell out. So I wanted to do some alternates here and share some alternates with you. And so uh, the Come Sail Away Suite is an awesome, awesome uh, alternate here. Don't forget to stay tuned to the end because I have lots more ideas for this uh, suite. Tons and tons of card ideas for it to share with you at the end. And um, these products here, the, the designer paper, the stamp set, the uh, memories and more kit, all make great substitutions for what we're going to do today. So these are um, the products that I'm going to be using. I'm not actually using the die set, but if you didn't have the paper pumpkin kit, you could use the die set with the stamp set to um, make some of the elements like the, the boat or you could you could substitute the sail but the um the lighthouse or some other things but i did use some of the sayings in there we are going to be using these super fun trinkets love these and the designer paper so the designer paper really did match that kit really well i love when they coordinate because it just means that we can do more stuff with it so this is what the designer paper in the suite looks like you can get it in my online store but what I found coordinates even better than all those pieces 
is the Memories and More kit. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with these. I haven't played with them too much. And I, I after I opened this one, I thought, oh my gosh, why am I not using these? These are fantastic. They're, they're such a great deal. It's a card, uh, like a, a card kit, sort of. It comes with all of these pieces and you can just put them together to make cards. So you've got, so these are all double-sided um, little sections, right? So there's the sailboat we're going to be using today, right? You can just cut that out if you wanted to recreate this card. And all of these, and there's a double-sided there. I'm, I won't go through them all. I just want to show you but all of these come in the, this this one little pack and then there was these little uh, pieces that you can cut out and use we've got larger pieces here you can use these for scrapbooking too for your memories and more these are also double-sided but you can see same designer paper there too so such a great value in this kit and I, I loved these little uh, stickers they're self-adhesive stick-ons and I feel like maybe I might use some of these on the card that we're gonna make today even though I didn't use them on the original so that's from the Memories and More kit from the Come Sail Away Suite. Okay, so here's the card that we're going to be making today. And the, the envelope, the coordinating envelope came in the Paper Pumpkin kit, the July Paper Pumpkin kit. So it's a fun little pull tab. It's so easy to make. And it's just, it's a fun little additional piece here. And I actually made this a full card. So you can actually open it up, write something on the inside. You could make this for any occasion. I felt like the suite kind of went for any occasion. But um, it's just it's a fun little additional pick-me-up here. We're going to make a You've Been On My Mind. We want a little pick-me-up for, for your friends. So we'll get started before I do one more thing. One more thing that um, for any of you who are new or um, if you're just not aware of this, for every uh, class that I do, every online video that I do, I have a free PDF here for you. You can get this by clicking on the resource page. There is a resource page with every video that I do. And you can find the link to that easily by clicking on the description of this video, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, and there will be a link right there that says resource page. Now, if you can't find that, go to stampwithtammy.com and click on free video tutorials, and you'll find them there too. Now, this is a free PDF. It has all the measurements for everything we're doing today. It also has a link back to that resource page in case you don't have it handy and you want to get back to it quickly and a QR code back to this video on the resource page as well. So it makes it easy to find. And then the supply list I've added in there, the Memories and More kit. There's quick links on that resource page that go right to the store if you wanted to purchase the trinkets or any little pieces there. So that is what the free PDF is there for you. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do here is the stamping. Now, if you were making this with the Come Sail Away suite, you would probably want to um, stamp either the sailboat from the kit, cut that um, card out of the Memories and More, the, this boat was in the Memories and More kit, you could cut it out there, or you could stamp one of these smaller sailboats, cut it out with a die, or the lighthouse would even be really cool here for a pull tab. And they have matching dies with that stamp set. So we're just going to pop that out because we got this with the Paper Pumpkin kit. I love it. It does make a really good masculine card, Jan. I agree. Oops. I don't want to rip you. I got a little too overzealous there. Ta, Got it. Okay. So there were some other elements on this um, that were for the paper pumpkin kit, but we're just going to use the sailboat on that. And then I used um, designer paper for the background here, too. I used some of that uh, Come Sail Away designer paper. We're going to use the, the Knight of Navy. All right, so the stamping is actually fairly easy. We've just got some words here. This is going to be our inside of the card, and this will be our pull tab. So here's our pull tab. We want to stamp the You've Been On My Mind and then the inside. So for the You've Been On My Mind and the, um, the all the words, I'm using Memento Black. The You've Been On My Mind came from the Paper Pumpkin Kit, but you could also use one of the words from the Sailing Home Kit. I know, I'm with you, Colleen. Who doesn't love a seaside scene? Okay, so I am not going to stamp that right dead smack um, in the middle. I'm going up a little bit and a little bit towards the right. And the reason for that is I want enough space to add our little wheel here. But also, this doesn't pull all the way out. You're going to have a little bit more space on the left-hand side, so I wanted it to be a little bit more to the right. And then for our inside, we are going to stamp from the uh, Sailing Home stamp set. Paper Pumpkin is a great way to build your card stash. It's also a great way to build your stamp stash and your supplies because it comes with everything you need to stamp. 
it's such a great, great, great way to get started, but it's also a great way to stamp if you don't have time to, to put things together, <laughs> you know, to, to come up with your own ideas. Sometimes I, I just love that it's there and I can just make things quick and easy and get that uh, stamp therapy in. So this anchor also comes from the Sailing Home stamp set and I stamped it in some soft suede. And believe it or not, that's all the stamping on this card. So before we go too much further, I'm gonna do a little bit of adhesive. I know I normally do stamping adhesive, blah, blah, blah. But um, let's adhere these panels together and then we'll continue with the card. So this is going to be our insert. And then this one is going to go on the inside of the, the card. And I've already pre-cut and pre-scored that card base. This is Knight of Navy cardstock. Again, the measurements are on that free PDF. So that's going to go on the inside of our card base. We'll just put that aside for a minute. Okay, and we want to attach this. Now, if you did not have the paper pumpkin kit, don't know where my silicone mat went, so maybe some scrap paper underneath. If you didn't have that kit, you could use the wheel from the die and the, um, the smooth sailing dies is the name of the dies that match the sailing home stamp set, but you could cut that out of soft suede. So, we're gonna, I'm just using snail adhesive here. You could use whatever adhesive you like. If you have the fine tip glue pen, you can use that if you guys are friends with the fine tip glue pen. Or if you have um, liquid glue, if you prefer that, you can use any of those of the above. The only thing with using snail is that sometimes you get, I call them panty lines, sometimes you get a little show through, you just wanna poke that out with a, the pokey tool. That one actually did pretty good. And so, I'm going to put that right down here in the lower corner. And it's over. I probably wanted to stamp that a little bit higher, but that's okay. For instructional purposes, I think we're okay. And then I'm just going to take a hole punch and punch a hole into this for later. Okay, so now on to the next step. And that is where we're going to actually create our pull tab. So first things, I've got two punches here. One is the um, classic label punch and the other is a one inch um, circle punch. The one inch circle punch is going to go just about halfway in, about halfway up. That's going to be the little notch for our thumb. And I only wanted just about half a circle there. And then with the classic label punch, we are going to cut our track where we're going to pull our slider card. So here, I'm going to start on the left-hand side and work my way. And I, I go about halfway there so I can line up exactly where we left off. So we can make that a little bit longer. And I went pretty far over with this one. Here we go. And... And we are going to take foam strips. Foam strips actually serve two purposes here. They popped it up, but they also created a stopper for the, the pull card. So I'm just gonna take a whole strip out here. I'll show you what I mean by that. So this is going to be the back side of the card here. So when we pull this in and out, it's gonna stop on that piece of foam so it won't go all the way through to the other side. And then we are gonna put some of this down the bottom. Now for this part, I actually kind of put the pull tab in here so I could see exactly where I wanted it. So we can see where it lines up in the front. And then I used the adhesive as a kind of a little guide here. So I'm gonna put some below it. It's on the PDF. Yes, it is. I have the measurements there. Okay, so you now we don't want it on this side here because we want to be able to pull this in and out. Okay, so if that these are kind of like a little bit of a guide, not too tight, give a little bit of space for this to move. Okay, and then once we've got that, we're going to um, unstick only the top, only the top of that. Don't unstick the side or the bottom yet. And then we're going to stick that down on our card base. 
Now the reason why I only did the top and not the other two pieces yet is because we still need to put this in. So what we're going to do is line this up on the inside where we'd like it. Make sure it's kind of straight in there. And also make sure that you don't have it lined up so that the, the bottom foam uh, will overlap it. And then you need two pennies, just like the penny spinner card. That's why I kind of added that in there because we're using a little bit of techniques from all the interactive cards that we've done to make a new card. And I, it always cracks me up when I put pennies in a card like this because they're hidden. And, you know, my little joke is I get my two cents worth in. Now for this one, I am using full size dimensionals. When we did the penny sliders, we used the mini ones in there. But so I've got, one, I'm making a little sandwich there. So we've got a little sandwich of dimensionals and then one on top to stick our boat to. And I'm gonna put that maybe right about, right about there on our boat, kind of in the middle where the boat meets the sail. Okay, so it looks like that. Now we're gonna slide it into the track. Okay, so that's gonna slide. Now, you could also make it a penny spinner, right? If you didn't attach it, and then it would just spin. So there's our penny spinner. But we're making a different card today. So let's line this up exactly where we want it. And then once we've got our everything how we want it, oops, there was one more piece here. And that is, we need one more dimensional. Sorry, I should have put that on before I attached the boat on the back here. I'll hold it up so you can see what I'm doing. One more dimensional. I would, I should have attached that before I put the boat in. Okay, so just line everything up and then stick it down. And then it is stuck exactly where you want it so that you can pull your slider in and out. And then once you have that step done, then you can peel off the backing of the foam on the side. Yes, you can use washers instead of pennies, Julie, if you have washers. <laughs> Nobody in my house wonders where the pennies are. <laughs> okay, so I just peeled the backing off the side and uh, the, the bottom there. So we are all good to go. So we've got You've Been On My Mind. It slides in and out. And then I'm just going to attach some of this braided linen thread to the edge there to finish it off. Yeah, in my house, we have that penny jar. Nobody pays any attention to it. And, you know, once I start putting them in my cards for my two cents worth, but I'm bump. Nobody misses them. So I'm just taking these two and wrapping them around my finger here to make a little knot. Just pull that through. All right, that was messy. Let's try that again. <laughs> Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. I'm glad you love it. Thanks for the hearts. You guys are the best. Okay, so then I'm just going to trim off some excess here. All right, now the card is almost done. We've got our inside. We've got our pull tab. We've got our little saying on there. I added one more little piece here. And actually, oh, I was going to add some of these little pieces on there too. These are the stickers from the Memories of More kit that I didn't use on the original. Um, but I wanted to use these little trinkets. So I'm putting one of these little guys. They're steering wheels and little um, anchors. Because I think an anchor is good for support, right? When you're sending a support card. Awesome, Terry's already on it. She's already pulled out her supplies so she can make it. I tell it's quick and easy and fun and it's got that little extra something in it that makes it special. They're all special when we make them, but that little extra special. So I've just attached some mini glue dots to the back of that, and I'm going to stick it on here. So what I was thinking of doing, let's see if I can add this later. This is from the Memories and More kit. I, I found this, and I was like, dang it, I wish I had seen that before. I wanted to add a little bit of this rope. It's a sticker from the kit. Oh, I love it. I love it. Just awesome. So we got just a little bit of that rope on there. So when you pull it out, it's got a little bit of a little bit of special on there. Oops, that needed a little adhesive on it. And then you could probably use a couple more of these around to decorate if you wanted to. But we'll leave that at that. You have now the instructions on how to make that. 
I have so much to share with you guys with this sweet. This is such a great sweet. A sweet sweet, we like to say. Um, and a sweet is when you have, oh, you know what? These little sequins came in the, the paper pumpkin too. I'm such a tease, right? I start telling you that we're going to look at stuff. Let's put some of these on here. These are because just because they came in the paper pumpkin and I feel like I just want to use them. Right? A little extra something. Little little bling bling because I love sequins and bling. I'm just taking a little take your pick tool to stick them on there. Anywho, so. So, as I started to tell you before, you know, squirrel, I got sidetracked. Let's look at some other ideas that come with this, that you could make, you could make with this suite. And I have a lot. So if you are joining us late, let me just give you a quick um, peek at what we're looking at now. This is the Come Sail Away suite that I'm going to show you some amazing ideas from. There's a great suite of products um, and pretty much you could use these products to make everything that we just did. Or you could use anything you had on hand. Um, but the Memories and More Kit and the stamp set and designer paper were um, the, the basics to this one. And here we go. This is the Sailing Home Bundle from the Come Sail Away Suite. There's that little trinket again. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see these close. I love this one too. Tina, I don't know if Tina's on here. Tina Gascon made this one. But I love how she put a window sheet over she stamped that, punched it out with a circle punch, put a window sheet over it. Very cute idea. And here we've got some designer paper. We've got the lighthouse and the anchor. It's another beautiful lighthouse. And we've got, this, there's just strips here of designer paper. So save all your scraps because you never know when you can use these again. And then this one's kind of just like a fun opening fold here with that front looks like it's folded over very cute it's got a little tag on it and we've got some sailboats Let's make sure that that's down far enough that you can see here we've got a little bit of the elements on here it's another beautiful and um, I have uh, images of most of these cards on the resource page if you click on the resource the link on the resource page You'll find most, not all, but most of these cards are on there. And this one, I love what she did with the anchor there. This one, uh, it's a cop it was done with copper foil. Super cute. And we've got sailboat. And here we've got some of that braided rope. Super, super cute. So many good ideas that you can do with this. And then I have a couple of wow cards here. This one from Tina Wardell. You can check her out. She is a Stampin' demonstrator who has some amazing videos. She shows you some really cool techniques. And this one here is from uh, Rachel Deschamps. She made a really cute one for our last swap here. There's a window sheet on top and it flip folds out. Another wow card. And the last one, this one actually is from Alice Houston, another Stampin' demonstrator. She loves, loves, loves to, to play and do these over the top i got to back you out so you can see everything over the top. This was actually just a regular card swap that she did, and she just loves to make them. And we love to get them, right? So she's got her little list on the back here. And then look at this. has even got a little pull-out tag. So, so cute. And um, I mentioned that we have, I, I have a whole series here on um, pull tab cards and, um, and penny spinner cards. So... One of them actually, what uh, one of the originals actually came from a swap card that was uh, the, the pull tab. So you can actually find the video instructions for this pull tab card that I created um, uh, last month, I think it is. On You can get it on the resource page or by going to stampwithtammy.com. You can see that also created with this stamp sa same stamp set. And then these are some of the other videos that you will find. You'll find links on the resource page. This was my photo booth flip card using the waterfall technique. So cute, right? So cute with my, and that was the stamp set that I designed. I was so excited to be able to play with that one. So I've got lots more ideas coming with that one. And then this is that flip card that I just showed you. You'll find the video for that. And I have a couple more these were all from the video online class that I did. Um, and then the other interactive one that we did this summer was the penny spinner. So another penny card done very similar. 
except instead of attaching it, it just spins. And that one, we did sports, so we've got all different sports here. There's even golf, if you like golf. Okay, so that is our pool tab slider card. Hope you have enjoyed that. Don't forget that the deadline for the August Paper Pumpkin Kit subscription is August 10th, so that's coming up really fast. I believe it's Sunday. And um, you can get the rest of the videos for these interactive cards by clicking on the resource page or going to stampwithtammy.com and clicking on um, free video classes. And uh, Linda and I will be back on Tuesday with the Stampin' Scoop. Have, have a wonderful weekend.